Last week, we took a look at the chartreuse yellow green plants that are really thriving in all this heat and humidity that we've been having. I had the extreme pleasure of visiting O'Brien Nursery and Garden in Granby, Connecticut last week, a gorgeous woodland garden with all kinds of textures and layers, evergreens and conifers, and tons of hostas. And there were so many hostas in that yellow green uh, variety that I just wanted to show them to you. I don't have the names. Um, this is just a beautiful space um, that I wanted to share with you, um, a, a space that obviously people love to be in. The garden has places to stop and enjoy and places to discover because um, you don't see it all at one time. So I wanted to start by taking a walk through one area and then I'll show you a lot of different evergreen um, hostas that you can use that are just absolutely beautiful um, in that yellow green uh, to pop some color into your shade beds. So let's go.
One of my absolute favorites was this spruce, Skylands Prostrata. Zones four through nine, gets about 15 feet tall by five feet wide. I love the yellow green color. Next up, one of my absolute favorites, this dwarf eastern white pine, zones three through eight, only gets like 15 inches tall, but the texture and the, it's so soft. I love this one. Another one of my favorites was this pine called KBN Twister. Uh, twisted and curvy needles, really unusual texture um, with it, kind of a blue-green color, hardy down to zone three. Um, can get six feet tall by four feet wide, but relatively speaking, this is a small shrub, so it's great for a garden that is relatively small. Again, another one of my absolute favorite evergreens. But there's way more in this garden than just evergreens and conifers. He has thousands of hostas and daylilies and other trees. This garden is open to the public on weekends and I can only encourage you to, even if it's just to go walk around, it is absolutely stunning here. And if all those gorgeous evergreens don't tempt you to visit, well, this is a selection of all the daylilies that he has for sale. Right before we came, they pulled one of every single daylily head off. Um, the, of course, you know, they only bloom for a day, so it's not like you're destroying the plant. What an unbelievable selection, and it was so pretty to see it uh, shown this way. So just a couple of the daylilies that I walked around and happened to see. Um, he, like I said, he has all kinds of colors um, and another real treat and something if you're looking for, for daylilies. This is a view up near the house and the front of the nursery. And then we get to all kinds of beautiful yellow green um, hostas that the setting uh, with the pond here is just breathtaking. Um, again, every kind of hosta you can imagine, gorgeous plants and trees and shrubs. Um, he's incredibly knowledgeable. Again, this is O'Brien Nursery in Granby, Connecticut. Um, but if you're looking for more um, than I showed you last week with the chartreuse yellow green plants, you can see there is an endless variety and this is only some of the photos um, or some of the plants that he actually had. I could have taken pictures forever, um, but the inspiration was amazing. So I hope you'll actually consider um, taking a visit um, go with an empty car because I'm telling you, you probably won't leave with an empty car. Um, there's just so much to see, so much to learn, um, and there's so much out there. So don't limit yourself when you're looking to put plants in your garden. Think outside the box.